Good afternoon, I'm Tom Drost, president of Logical Engine, the creators of Estimate Rocket and Job Rocket. Estimate Rocket is a cloud-based mobile and desktop software that enables service contractors to manage projects from lead to paid. Build estimates on the site, then deliver professional proposals, work orders, and invoices with a click. It also covers appointment scheduling, automated follow-ups, email marketing, and online acceptance to help you grow your business rapidly. Today, we're going to talk about one of the uh, things that you need to manage an estimate rocket. We're going to talk about managing the projects on your late tab, or more importantly, managing your appointments and reminders. So as most of you know uh, in estimate rocket, and many of you may have observed, um, there's a late tab on the dashboard and on the project screen. So first of all, how do projects get there? Um, many of you may know that already uh, and are, are looking uh, primarily to figure out a, a more efficient way to, to manage that, but um, basically things show up on the late tab when the assignment date or the scheduled date has passed and the project hasn't been updated to reflect a new reminder date or due date or a new appointment schedule date. So basically all it means is we've got to go back and look at those projects and make some decisions about them. Either decide that we're going to you know, delay those projects um, or uh, uh, reschedule them or potentially even cancel them if it doesn't look like that project's actually going to occur. So those are those are pretty much our, our options that we have. And so a couple ways to go about that uh, as as we're looking at it. First of all, one of the questions is going to become, you know, where, what's the best place to, to manage that information? Uh, in Estimate Rocket, we we know on the dashboard you see your late tab uh, comes up pretty front and center there. And we also have an opportunity to look at the late tab in the project screen. So when you go to the project screen, it defaults to all. If we go and look at our late tab, the way things come up in the late tab is basically the newest or the most recently uh, overdue tasks. So the things that you probably need to get to that are most current uh, are going to show up, you know, right right at the top. So these are things that went overdue maybe a day ago or two days ago or hopefully not too far back. So this is a pretty you know good place to, to keep up to date. Uh, things that were due yesterday are going to be at the top of the late tab tomorrow. So this is one of the places we can manage it. What do you do when your late tab gets too big? Um, you know what happens when you've got an overwhelming number of projects on your late tab? Well, then there's some other ways to narrow down the list so that you can attack the ones that are most important. So when you're looking, for example, as we are now on the project screen, over on the right, you have a list of your different project states. So probably one of your most uh, important uh, late project categories would be the pendings, because those are projects that are, that are uh, you know, pending. You've sent out the estimate. You're waiting for the client to accept. Those are the things that, in theory, are the most likely to become our next projects or our next uh, sales that we're going to complete. So those are ones that are, that in my mind, are particularly important to keep up to date. So by clicking on pendings, we've now narrowed our list, already narrowed our list down to only 66 projects. So uh, as we're looking at those, you'll notice when you click on pendings, it did flip us back to the all tab. So the all tab is a little bit different than the other tabs. The Alt tab puts the oldest first. So the newest late projects in this case are going to be now at the bottom of our list instead of at the top. So once I click on pending, I'm also going to click on late because I want to focus right now just on cleaning up my late projects. So these are projects that recently went late. So what am I going to do? Well, first I'm going to look at them and say, hey, you know, what's the scoop on this project? Should I be, how should I, should I be managing it? Uh, I want to take a look at it and see what its state is. So in this case, I can drill into the project and I can look at where it's at, you know, maybe check out my notes, see if, you know, where this project is ready to go. And I can do a couple things. If I want, if I'm still hopeful that this project is going to happen, one of the things I can do is reassign it a new due date. By reassigning it a new due date, it's going to push it into the future tab. And so it's not going to be sitting in my late tab and it will pop up on my dashboard when it becomes due again or when the reminder date hits again. So I'm going to do that by hitting the reassign button. So by hitting the reassign button, I can do a couple things. I can advance the date. So I can say, all right, hey, let's, let's not worry about this one until next Friday. So I'm going to set the reminder date to next Friday. I could also assign it to someone else. If I know I'm not going to get a chance to work on this project or get back to this person, 
I could sign it to a different team member and have them go ahead and take a look at it. So those are my two options here. I can leave it assigned to me or I can advance it. And then I can also, of course, leave myself a note. Call and follow up. And schedule an email if you don't connect. There we go. So I've left myself a note so that I know when I go to follow up on this one uh, what I want what I want to do. Make it a little bit easier, a little bit quicker to handle. So we've just reassigned that to June 30th, which is, which is out in the future. So this project is no longer going to show up on our late tab. So I'm going to go back to uh, back to the project screen. And you'll notice magically that that project dropped off the list. So we've accomplished at least one of the things we wanted to do by reassigning uh, the due date on that project. So that's the simplest way really to get things to pop off the late um, late tab is simply to reassign them or uh, reschedule them or unschedule them and give it a new reminder date sometime out in the future. Um, when you're on those projects and you're reassigning them, some other things that might be useful to do uh, in this example, we might want to come into this project and instead of just reassigning it, let's go see if there's any follow-up emails queued up. Nope, looks like all of the emails for this project have already been delivered. So maybe we want to queue up an email to go out in the future for this project. So maybe sometime, uh, maybe we've got a some sort of a reminder email template that we want to do, or uh, maybe this one I'm just going to use no template. I'm just going to manually key in some information. And I'm just going to call it a reminder to follow up. And... Call. And I'm going to leave a message to call my client. And I could make a template that would do this. That would probably be handy. Client first. So this is basically just going to, I'm just basically going to send myself an email that says to follow up on this. And I'm going to include KO on this as well since it's our project. So again, all I'm doing here, I don't even need a copy of the uh, estimate. I'm just sending myself out a reminder. And when am I going to do it? I'm going to use the later button to actually schedule this out into the future. So let's send this email out on the 29th. So we've now got a nice email queued up. And again, any of these projects that you're rescheduling and setting new reminder dates on, one of the things you can always do is queue up an email to go out sometime in between now and when you want that reminder date to be hit. So this one's going to go out on June 29th. And why don't we go ahead and we're going to reassign the uh, follow-up date on this to be the 30th. And there we go. We've just knocked another uh, project off of our late list. And we're down to 64. So. Okay, so, you know, not fun, uh, not the most fun thing we can do, but if you keep up with this, uh, it really becomes a much easier task. So let's, let's uh, instead of going through all of these projects and fixing them, which I probably should do, uh, let, let me, uh, actually, let me first show you one other way that you can manage the dates on the projects. So one other way you can manage the dates on the projects is um, by using drag and drop, but that works on the dashboard. So I'm going to jump over to my dashboard. On my dashboard, on my late tab, again, uh, on the late tab, things are going to come up as the uh, most recently late items uh, versus, and these are, again, are, uh, you know, my to-do list items. The all tab, on the other hand, goes in reverse order. So these are my oldest projects that I need to follow up on. So depending upon what kind of mood you're in, you can tackle the recently late ones that are probably your highest probability of things that you have success could have success on, or if you want to tackle the oldest ones first. So the oldest ones first is, you know, in the off season where you got nothing better to do, let's clean them up. But for now, we want to manage the ones that are late that are current. So I'm supposed to schedule an estimate for Don Edwards. So if I click the little drag and drop toggle, now I can just drag the project and I don't have to drag it to a date. I can just start dragging it and it pops up my dialog. I can reset my date. I'm going to put this one out into July and I've now just reset the schedule date for that project out into the future. Uh, follow up on a lead. 
I'm not going to get that to that today, but I am going to put that on my Monday to-do list for next week. So this is a pretty quick way by using the drag and drop feature to, you know, reassign. It's almost the equivalent of clicking the reassign button once you've drilled into the project, but this can be a little quicker because I just drag it, set my date. I can use the little dot which sets it to the current date, and then if I want to move it out from there, I can, depending upon how old it was, I can just click on the date that I want it to show up. So I'll schedule that one for Friday. And again, can leave my note myself notes all along the way. Uh, depending upon what the what the note is going to be, uh, add a payment. Let's pull that one up. Set that one. This one uh, obviously payments. Uh, we want to handle those pretty quickly, so I'm going to actually set that for today. So using the drag and drop feature to reassign your uh, your due dates for your projects is a very very quick way to uh, to go through your late items and chip away at them to the point where. They're either in today or into the future, so you can follow up on them. So what are the other alternatives? So sometimes we're going to have some projects that just aren't, you know, we're not going to get to or we know that we lost them or, you know, we made a mistake and, and didn't complete something. Uh, here's a good example, this add a payment. Um, there's a good chance that, that this project's already been paid, so I can go into the project and edit it. I want to get it cleared out. I know it's already been paid. I'm going to add a payment amount. I might want to set the date to when I think it actually was paid. I can save that. Now the project's paid off and I can complete the project. So that's the other way of handling, uh, obviously of handling our projects that are uh, that we've completed and but we may not have marked them properly as completed so we want to go ahead and you know get them up to the current state. Um, one other way to uh, that you can look at some of these things in terms of knowing which ones to attack first is you can go to the report screen. And on the report screen, uh, we have three reports over on the right, or four reports over on the right, that can be very useful for figuring out what things might be uh, late or might have already happened and going ahead again and attacking them. So. Uh, pending invoice, this is a good target. So I've got two projects with pending invoices that are greater than 90 days. Again, there's a good chance here that um, we just never mark the invoices as sent. So these things are hanging out there as pending invoices. Good chance they've been sent, potentially even paid. Again, obviously we should be keeping up with all these things as we go, but sometimes it doesn't happen. You may also want your office manager or bookkeeper to do this work for you so they can come in and make sure that things get cleaned up. So by looking at the late tabs, by looking at the reports that show the agings for the projects, that's a good indicator to you that you know things are getting done properly or that maybe there's things, some things that are behind and that may become, uh, you may uh, you know, uh, delegate that authority to the to people that are in charge of those areas like invoicing to your bookkeeper for example or office manager uh, to make sure that they keep a pending invoices up to date on pending invoices basically means we didn't send out an invoice for something that's been completed obviously a big hole we want to keep the cash flow going so very important thing to, to keep on top of and then obviously open invoices invoices that are greater than 90 days unless it's some ongoing project that we um, you know aren't expecting payment for those invoices should be paid pretty much up to date. So a good indicator here of things that need to be taken care of and need to be managed. So a variety of different ways uh, so far we've looked at to, to handle these. Um, you can go on the reports pages and use the open aging reports. You can go on the projects or dashboard screens. On the dashboard screen you can use the drag and drop feature to uh, drag and drag the, the projects and reassign them. Uh, and then on the projects page, you can go in and edit the projects and reassign them. So a variety of different ways to go about actually keeping those things up to date. One other thing you can do, um, and again, this is from the dashboard screen. Let's talk a little bit now about, uh, let's assume for a moment that we're actually up to date. That'd be cool. Um, if we're up to date, then what's going to happen is we're going to have things today that we don't get done. And we might have things in the future that we're going to rearrange. So let's assume for a moment that at this point, all of our projects are on the Today tab and the Future tab. That's, that's the holy grail. Um, but uh, based on that, at the end of a day, 
uh, we should really take a look at our today list and make some decisions and anything that isn't going to get done today we probably should reassign it. So in the case of a multi-day project obviously if it's if the end date is uh, you know is not today then we don't have to worry about those because those are going to go on for multiple days but any individual day either reminder uh, or appointment obviously if it didn't happen we need to reschedule it. So again drag and drop to the rescue uh, we can click the little drag and drop indicator and now anything we didn't get done today we can just simply drag it and set a new date for it. So I didn't get it done today I'm going to get that payment uh, followed up on tomorrow. Uh, let's see um, complete the work for Dave Harrison. That's going to get rescheduled because of rain to next Tuesday. And we might put a note in here. Rain delay date. Just so that we remember what happened on that project. Uh, and complete work here is going to be moved out until tomorrow. That's my tomorrow is probably racking up a, a lot of appointments. Uh, yeah, actually, one other thing you can do is uh, to man help manage this a little easier is you can actually go to the future tab because the future tab does show the today items as well. So from the future tab, this is an even easier exercise because from the future tab, we don't we won't even have to type in a date. If we know we just want to move this appointment, if we want to move this uh, reminder to schedule an estimate for Shirley Wally to, to, to tomorrow. We can just drag it to tomorrow and it'll automatically put it in that day. So anything where, um, you know, anything that's on today or future, we can go to the future tab to manage. So I didn't get the work done today. Hey, we're going to go back. We're going to finish it tomorrow. Uh, we're going to be out there at uh, 8 a.m. It's going to take us till 11 a.m. Okay. So as you can see, by coming here at the end of the day and going to the future tab, one of the things we can do to keep help us keep up with things is we can easily go through right here and move the things where we want to move them. So this one's going to go out to the 27th. And this one is going to go to Friday. And obviously, I could be assigning times here. So since I'm not going to get anything else done today, I've moved all of my today appointments quickly and easily, some of them to Thursday, some to Friday, and some to the following Monday. So this becomes a really easy place to you know, manage what's going on. Plus, from this dashboard screen, you have a little bit more information and insight into exactly what you're changing. So that can be a great, uh, great place to work on it. So we've kind of reviewed a variety of different things you can look at. Um, we can look at uh, things that are late on the dashboard. We can look at, and depending upon if we want to look at them, oldest to newest or newest to oldest, if we go to the All tab, that's always going to show us the absolute oldest things first. So this is really where you go to clean things up. Uh, if you want to go to, um, if you want to see the newly laid things, you go to the Late tab. That's going to keep the most recently, uh, things that have most recently gone overdue at the top. So you can hopefully, you know, keep up as close as you can. Uh, and then the other place to look at it again is the project screen. So on the project screen, the all tab, this is showing us our absolute oldest projects first. So this is, this one's going back to, uh, you know, April 30th, uh, probably of 2015 or 2016. So that's a real ancient one. Uh, or if we want to get a little more current, uh, we can go to the late tab and that again will show us our most recently late. All right, I'd like to thank everyone for attending today. Uh, we really appreciate you taking time out of your busy days to do this, and hopefully this information will be helpful for you and save you a little bit more time uh, while you're using Estimate Rocket. And uh, we look forward to seeing you at the next webinar. Thank you. Bye.